Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am still a targeted individual. I am again in the cold. Feels like 16 or something here in New York. It's so hard to separate these realities sometimes. And, uh, you know, the confusion and the... Listen, I have the worst anxiety attacks. Panic, panic attacks, fear, uh, terror. You know, it's like uh, nothing I've ever experienced before. And I don't, you know, I can't say, I can't say whether it's the result of uh, neurological changes or damage that, uh, here's an interesting thought, anyway, that were uh, occurred during this exposure to Morgellons and uh, various uh, manufactured uh, new experimental hallucinogenic and hypnotic mind control drugs that we were exposed to long term high dose uh, then there's the the, the Morgellons, you know, the organism nano assembling, taking you apart and whatever it's doing inside of you depositing its micro crystalline quantum dot structures which may or may not kill the human body um but blah 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 fear you know if I can watch a video of some neurologists explaining to me how fear works in the brain where fear you know which parts of the brain are stimulated in response to what and what happens and what stimulates what and and you know the whole thing you're gonna tell me that these people in the drug design and delivery departments, these people who use giant computer systems with automated, you know, thousands of cells of cultured uh, cell lines for different uh, brain neurotransmitter receptors uh, and you know, automated drug design. They're trying out every different possible combination to see what it activates and how it activates. And if they find something of what they consider use potential, they investigate it. And with all the understanding of the human brain and, and the, the human genome project and uh, every single other one, you know, Obama's brain initiative and you're gonna tell me they haven't figured out how to make a, a molecule that would a cause fear in an individual and uh, you know possibly even change them their brain chemistry forever so that uh, you know if you kill off certain parts of the brain with the neuro uh, neurotoxic uh, targeted neurotoxins you know that's one thing okay let's say you inhibit brain function with um, encapsulating uh, nano structures um, with polymers you know these things that, that ionically charged and moved with magnetic fields and aligned and uh, excuse me Then there's the whole microwave mediated biochemistry. Now, I'm getting so off topic here because what I really wanted to say after I went through all this doodly do was that A, there are drugs that cause fear and B, there should be and are drugs that stop fear. But you're not gonna see them marketed except for the ones that cause fear fear and anger because they want to push society over the brink they want to push us over the edge they want to you know create a problem and then step in and fix it with the solution that they've had when they created the problem a solution we would not have accepted beforehand 
Come on, we all know this. Um, but what did I want to say? I, I was in the bathroom and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, listen, you know, these people that, that call me and the stories that I hear and the things that I watch and it, it's horrific. And I, I'm like, how can I possibly help these people or myself if I can't, you know, A, determine the energy signature of the attacking technology without any technology to measure it, B, have any money to purchase materials to research and, it, 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 you know, see if it makes any effect or, or uh, you know, I don't know, I got ideas, I'll put them out there, but... Um, and so what can we do? What can we do as we're being, you know, tortured and suffering and dying? One thing we can do is support each other uh, emotionally, uh, psychologically, and uh, theologically or spiritually, uh, you know, and financially if we can. But... Uh, I don't know, I believe in the future that possibly, uh, uh, you know, people banding together, putting their resources together, finding a place that they can live that's isolated enough but has enough resources to maintain, you know, and trying to do the, 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 the communal kind of existence under the understanding that uh, we all have special circumstances and we require special assistance and, you know, of course, you'd be the, the focal locus of, uh, <laughs> anyway, what can we do? Well, one thing we can do, for those of you who believe in uh, a creator, that we are created by a being or power that's, you know, another dimension or more than us or whatever, and that whatever our reason for living and existence is, that death is not all and that we will go somewhere else and do something or answer for this or, you know, I, I don't know what, what the next thing is. We can only look to near-death experience people and hope that their experience isn't just a brain fart. I don't think it is. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, I have seen prayers answered, so why am I even doubting? It's not me so much that... Well, I doubt. Yeah, I got this thing put in my head. That was the other thing I wanted to say. Blah, 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 blah. Prayer. Prayer helps. They've done studies of terminally ill patients who are being prayed for. They don't know they're being prayed for. And a certain percentage of them get better. -er. They say it works. I know it works. Um, so continue to pray for us. And listen, send us your names, make comments, and we pray for you. And a network of prayer warriors, you know, this is uh, for the people who understand that this has a dark side, an element of sincere darkness. Maybe this is all we can do. All right, that thought aside, um, I've lost the other one already. It's such a shame, this enforced... Uh... Anyway, I don't expect you all to sit here and wait for three minutes while I try to remember what I was going to say next, so... God exists, prayer helps, we need to help each other because God works through us. Our intentions and our decisions can be influenced by, you know, oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was, and this is the, this is, maybe we don't have enough time, but the, the feeling of having somebody in your head that is not you, you know, it's, and not the, not the one where you know it's not you, where they're like, Hey, you know, rah, 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 I'm in your head and there's nothing you can do. Not those people. But the one that, that like is like, pretends to be you. And it waits until you're tired and cranky and, and sort of slips in there and says, Hey, and says stuff and it's like your ego or something. But then you realize, wait a minute, I don't really feel that way. Or, who are you to be saying such a thing? And why are you so judgmental? And so what's happening here? There is a separation 
between self and self, between subconscious consciousness and uh, conscious, you know, super conscious, super ego, or one of the things that this other this neurologist show was talking about, which I'll put in the thing, I've lost my... I've lost my internet, so I don't have availability to. Uh, nice lady said hello and smiled. To put it up right now, but um, said was that uh, this stuff about the hippocampus, the right hippocampus, the left hippocampus, the differences and the amygdalas and the, this thing firing and uh, all this energy and triggering in this part of the brain and can actually give you the experience of another uh, when you become conscious of yourself um, is what he said I have to watch it again you guys can watch it but it's like you become conscious of your ego as a separate entity from yourself because a part of your brain is stimulated that makes you feel that way and it can be done with electromagnetic stimulation in the lab we've seen it it's easy as pie you can do it at home uh, make you feel like there's someone else there, but they claim that this someone else there that you feel is you um, And they weren't talking about you know, they didn't look to any of this higher dimensionality and the possibility that the brain is in fact the the bio radio telemetry device that allows our spiritual, you know, uh, quantum, electromagnetic, spiritual self to operate in this third dimension. I know that sounds like a lot of new age claptrap, but it's, if you believe in God, if you believe in the afterlife, and you believe in the spirit that goes on and is you, then what I'm talking about is perfectly reasonable. And this quantum physics, we don't know if it's real or not because I'm not a physicist, is telling us that yes, action at a distance and dual non-locality and uh, you know these things are a reality in physics. Um, so you know, at the photonic level, at the, the I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> thank you for watching. Uh, God bless you all. I hope this will end for us.